Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new safe file. We are jumping in again. In the previous episode, we unlocked Tainted Lazarus and now I have to decide, do I want to go and play Tainted Lazarus or do I want to try and unlock another Tainted character? We've not actually got that many more to unlock of the defaults. We've got Eve, we've got um, the Forgotten and we've got Bethany, all of which are pretty good Tainteds. I do like Bethany quite a lot. Um, I did play her pretty recently to be fair. But no, we'll, we'll try and lock it anyways. I, I, I realize I'm playing some of the same characters a lot, but realistically, it'd actually be kind of nice to hear in the comments how how much does the actual character I play influence if you click on the video or if you watch the videos. Also, I do realize this is kind of survivor bias uh, because <laughs> the only people that are going to reply to this video to this question are people that are watching this episode, which realistically doesn't actually get me the answer I want um, <laughs> because it's mainly from the people that aren't watching that I need to know. But you know what I mean, it's still worth knowing. Um, I have asked something similar before, but yeah. Anyways, we got Nort here, which is awesome. Really, really, really good. Um, it allows us to grab things from over gaps as well, which is super, super nice. And stun chance, damage, it's good stuff. I like it a lot. Um, it's really, really nice. Good bit of extra defense and damage for us. All bombs spawned will be copper bombs. How good is that, actually? It's, I, I, can't, I can't really envision why you'd want that. I don't know, maybe I'm not seeing it right. But yeah, it'd be good to know, because... Like, I, I always feel bad when I don't play the modded characters much, because I feel... Oh, god damn, these guys are kind of crazy. Because uh, I kind of feel like, oh, people like watching the modded characters more because they're newer and stuff. But at the same time, like, I think the whole reason it's for starting a new save file was so that we play the vanilla characters again, and we re-unlock things and we have more objectives. So, and a lot of the modded characters, while they do obviously have objectives, they don't count towards Dead God as such, so... It's more important to play the vanilla characters first, I think. Um... So yeah, it's interesting. It'd be interesting to hear. But that's not the question of the day, though. The question of the day is something different, of which I have not came, come up with yet. Um, hmm. Hmm. What's a what's a mistake that you commonly made for a long time, but only recently got like learned that you were wrong about, or only recent recently learned that um. There was a better way of doing it. I don't know. What's what's like a mistake you've been making for a long time that you've recently corrected? I feel like there's a lot of those where people have those sort of gaps in their knowledge. Um, can't remember what this guy does. I really don't want to kill the... Uh, like I guess I don't want to kill these until that guy's dead. So these guys shoot and I want to be sort of well aware of where they are and how to kill them before I uh, go for it. Strength is good. We want to take on the boss as soon as possible here. So we'll see if we can do that. These guys do like to throw their fish at us, so we've got to be ready and sort of prepared for that, because the fish do have the little circling fly around them, which can be rather bothersome. This one I'm going to... Oh, bugger. Okay, I kind of messed that up. It's alright, it's alright. I didn't realise there was going to be more enemies. I was not prepared. The game sent me an ambush, and I was not ready. But item-wise, A, hey, we got Nort and Rotgut here, which I think both of these are from the same mod pack, if I remember correctly, and they're both pretty darn good. They're both from the Rotten Collection. So I, I'm pretty sure, right, if I... There we go. Look, look at that. That's so useful. So goddamn useful. Really, really nice. Obviously, we don't have a key to open it yet, but really nice regardless. This guy is going to chase us. Dude, he did not at all do what I thought he was going to do there. That was close. The stunning there, slightly scary. But yeah, that was a little bit iffy. Little bit iffy. I'm trying to keep my dev um, my angel deal alive here, but God knows how plausible that's actually going to be. Rotgut is, is good, but can mess you up, depending on where he ends up sitting, because it's, it's always random. So we'll see how annoying he ends up being. Little piss baby there. This is a, a room full of piss. Lots and lots of piss babies. Oh my god, that was a mighty piss bucket that was just thrown at me there. He's filling up another. Luckily, we you can hit it out the air, as you just saw there. There's a lot of creep though. There you go. We're good. We're good. Now we're going to try and beat the boss without um, taking damage, which, depending on the bosses. Not always plausible, we'll see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get. I, I know I only have one bomb, but getting him to eat a bomb there is just way better off for us. But good. We did it. Hey, oh, we got our angel deal. I'm super happy about that. And we got a really good item as well here. Unfortunately, we got fucking Lent. Uh, picking up no hearts on a floor will grant you full health and damage up on the next floor. It's it's nice. Why is this come up? Go away. Uh, it's nice, but honestly, not going to be something that I that I be I'm able to use too often. Will it give us 0.5 damage this floor? Because we haven't taken any hearts after the fact. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Yeah, not a great first angel deal. If we get damage up here, I'll be slightly more happy. Yeah, we did. Okay, slightly more happy with that. Um. I don't know how common it's going to be that we take no hearts on a floor. Um, the fact that it gives us full health on the next floor does mean that we can game it a little bit. And like, even if we take damage, we don't have to pick up HP. And I think it is more valuable as someone like Bethany who can't pick up soul hearts. Because um, the only hearts we can pick up is red hearts and we get a full heal at the end of every floor. In fact, ju just the fact that we get a full heal at the end of every floor is pretty darn useful thinking about it. We'll take that definitely. Um, and we can poop. Thank you for the poop. Secret room here. I love Spelunker's hat. The fact that it protects your head. Oops, spin down dice, we definitely need that. Uh, the world, I'll pop that real quick. I'm gonna do this and see if it works. It did, good, nice. Okay, so... Grab this first, and then we'll hold. Then we'll remember to come back for the spin down. Okay, but yeah, it's actually really good as this character because we're constantly getting a lot of benefit. Oh, bollocks. Bad hit there, but we've already got our angel deal last floor, so we weren't super likely to get one this floor, anyways. Of course, at the minute we are hoping and waiting for a potential active item to come our way. Don't know if we'll get it, but we'll try our best. I'm unsure on where I should. Um, I should open up. Does this give you a trinket if you just use it? Um, no, you have to have one before you use it. Don't know exactly where to use my cracked key here. There's obviously a few potential locations where it could uh, give us our lovely little thingy room, but I'm not entirely sure. I might just use it to get into the second secret room, to be honest. Take that at face value. I do have bombs to get in there already, though, so it's not all that necessary. Good, so don't pick up that heart. We don't need it. Okay, I can't even use it to get in there anyway, so that idea is a bust. This guy's taking forever to die. Don't pick up that heart either. Good, got a few wisps stacked up. Make sure to pick up hearts if we get any here. We didn't. Kind of good. Let's try it here, shall we? Don't know how likely this is to be correct, but I'll give it a go. Hey, it was correct. Nice one. Kind of a rough room here. We got there in the end, though. And we get ourselves... Oh... This is kind of an annoying one, really. <laughs> okay. Because now we have... <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Now, if we don't pick up any hearts, we get a heal. If we pick up some hearts, we get... Uh, well, we get damage and a heal. If we pick up some hearts, we get stats. So it's like, do we want to or not? <laughs> oh, also, I didn't realize we can bomb into our thingy room here. If we get another bomb. Um... Oh, we have bombs. I'm stupid. I was looking at my keys. Didn't realize we could bomb into this. Mr. Dolly, real good. We'll take it. Okay, I accidentally picked up a heart now, so... It don't matter. I forgot that Not would pull it towards me. My bad. It is what it is, though. Bouncing around, you fool. Nobody likes it. Cacomancer's kind of annoying. 
Mainly because of that dash attack he does. It's annoying that Nort is so inconsistent in how much it fires. Sometimes it's like goes off like crazy, and other times it's like, nah, I'm trying to not do it. Like, it went back twice back to back there. Also, this guy's annoying because he has like the longest death animation ever. I don't know why the um, the Fiend Folio devs felt it necessary to make the death animations of every Fiend Folio boss so dramatic. It's cool, but for gameplay, it's not amazing. So we might as well pick up these hearts now. Um, a small bit of fire rate right there. Um, we, we realistically want to hurt ourselves on something here to um, okay. pick up that other heart. We got another red, full red heart in here as well. Yeah. Hello again, friend. It's just like we just saw you. Weird. Very strange indeed. Oh my god, how on earth did I not get hit there? Go with your dramatic flair, you big stranger. Um, I think this is fine to take. Right, we've got to find ways to hurt ourselves now. We don't have a sack room either, so... Not a... Good place to do it there. Got like a blue fire about, right? There you go. One, two, three, four. We can go back and grab these red hearts for a little bit of extra for us here. We should check out our shop briefly here. When entering a floor, um, Nah. Not amazing. Oh wait, actually, before I skip out, was it was it a good spin down? I didn't actually check that. Oh, doesn't matter, we can't we can't see. We don't know. Right. Let us go to the next floor. Things are do things are looking pretty good right now. This is a decent run. So yet again we're in the mode of so basically, it's like, if we get a ton of red hearts on the floor, it's worth hurting ourselves. If we don't, it's worth not picking up any hearts. It's kind of funny that we have two different methods here that are very, very opposite to one another, that are both quite valuable to us for gaining stats. Just one is directly damaged, and the other one is any stat, potentially. Good. Penny. You guys are getting sucked in. Right, so there, there's a heart already. We got one on the floor. I'd say any more than like three, four red hearts, then we um then we start hurting ourselves to gain stats. Otherwise we go for the 0.5 damage and the full heal. Got you as well, big clam boy. Bomb, lovely. We'll try and get our angel deal here as well if we can. Rod got spawned in a very nice spot there. Gotta love that. See, now that, I'd, that it technically tends to a mini Isaac, but I don't know if it counts as picking it up. Oh, dude, this is a tricky room here. Good. Would like a key. We do have a key back there, actually. Let's let's quickly go and grab that and do some rooms over here. Actually, re realistically, I should be going for the boss first. I'll go back that way. See if we can find that item room on the way, sort of thing. Likely, likelihood is the boss is this way. Nope, sadly not. It was all a ruse.
good. Extra bomb is lovely. Bombs are really good here because obviously we're going to be able to see all of our secret rooms. Uh, but, uh, keep moving. Good to see a room ahead. So actually, do, do you know what? We know we know this is a dead end here because we can see a room ahead. But I'm going to do it anyways because it could still be Steven, I think. And there you go, get extra bombs and stuff as well, which I love. And nice, we've actually got a really good spot here for our boy. Yeah, Rockgut did a really good job there. Get up in this guy's face, there you go. Don't pick up that. I still don't know if soul hearts actually count, but I'm pretty sure they do. I'm actually going to bomb through to my thingy room here as well. Really, we're getting all the health and we don't need it. Save as a key. Chance to shoot a cursed fire, which gives enemies the cursed stats effect. They take extra damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. Right, skip scholar scoot and skip back to our shop real quick now that we've done that. I love having the uh, extra movement speed outside of combat. It's super useful. Because right, I, basically, I, I want to check shop because we could get something good, but also we could get something that spins down into something even better. Plus 50 coins. Okay. Also, we do have something else there. That's Plus 50 coins is kind of insane. Um, but what it spins down to is, I think, is better. I'm going to try that. Last spin down. Item pedestals reroll when you touch them. Uh, that's passively. Item pedestals reroll when you touch them. Rerolled items will attempt to be of higher quality than the original. Breaks if dropped. Um, on use spawns a shattered shard. A few coins around Isaac. Spawns six coin wisps that are fire weak tears when extinguished. Okay, so this is passive effect. We doesn't. It means we can't use that active anymore. But it means that every item we get isn't the item we get. It'll be rerolled into something else, which is kind of interesting. And if we want to pick up the item that's actually there, we can use the active to destroy it. This was probably better than getting 50 coins, I think. We've not got too many shops left, but that, that is an interesting idea to give you 50 coins, though. But yeah, wisps are no more for us at the minute. Really, more of these guys? And a crab as well. You've got to give me the crab, have you? Goddamn hate the fucking crabs. Really hard to see. Good, good. So we did get Steven this floor. Nice. Ooh. That's probably a heart we do want to take. I don't know if that'll count against our plus damage. Because it's not a heart that heals us. But it's probably something we want to take. We've already been to the item room, remember? Don't bother going back in there with a key. That'd be stupid. Okay, it's already open. Nice. No chance of me doing that. Dashing boy. We did get ourselves strange apple here, um, which is pretty good. Um, how exactly do we get it? Do I have to bomb and then? Slide between? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, but it didn't. It was something else, and we got Blood of the Abyss, which is awesome. I forgot that that was going to happen. Okay. Good. This is going to be a slightly confusing run for me. But I'll learn. This plus 50% damage thing is going to be really nice as well here. This boss I hate. I'm really... Well, I, I wouldn't say I hate him. I'm really bad at this boss, as you just saw. But... We've got three free hits, so our angel deal should stay alive. He just fires so goddamn much and then has this attack where he moves around a bunch. There's two of our free hits. Can you just die, please, my good sir? Oh, 
Okay, we got him. Good. Took a bit of doing, we got him. So this won't be glass eye, this'll be green orange, which is real good. And then this won't be dead sea scrolls. Ah, uh, bollocks. Okay, there's that great item gone. <laughs> we got some good items out of it, but I'm still annoyed at myself. Ah, uh, bloody hell, I completely forgot that um, you can't put it down. I thought it would just re-roll the active into something better. My bad, my bad. Right. Can you read? Could I ask for a favor? I need you to do my taxes before Friday. In return, I'll show you a cool place. Here, I'll pay up front. Nice. Still love that animation there, it's so cool. We got our 0.5 damage as well, nice. We know where our secret room is. We don't have money for the secret room right now though, which is a shame. Secret room does require a good bit of money. I'm really not vibing with this room right now. Okay. I, I am actually kind of happy with the active we ended up getting, though, I will say. But I'm still, yeah, a little, little bit peeved at myself for not realizing the mistake I was about to make. We, we not want money, so we want to go for this. Nice. Okay. Don't use that all the time, but... Coins can never fall below six is kind of nice here. I... I'm a little confused on what I'm doing with this room. Oh, fucking. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get hit a bunch on here. Fuck. Oh, god damn, that room's confusing. Oh my god, that was sketch. Got a first one of these. Rock good. No way you're taking that from me. I'm sorry. There ain't no way, no how. Apparently, I created a lot of wisps with my uh, urn of souls, which is rather nice. Hate these enemies. Come on. Don't be a prick. Oh, for. Just fucking pop up, you shithead. Oh my god. Why? Room took way longer than there was any need for it to take. Gigabomb is pretty good for the boss. We'll keep that. Yeah, another one of these annoying ass enemies. <sighs> no need. No need. That was good. Um, then we'll take iron cart here, yeah. Makes a good noise. Check out the rest of the floor. Take the, coin take the coins first, because we need money. Need at least 15. And don't go into secret room until the end of the floor. What do you want? 
Nah, I actually quite like having that. I actually quite like having that, so... Can't take that away from me right now. I'm liking the protection we get from all these wisps that are just constantly around us. That's rather nice. Okay, let's use normal tiers here, because otherwise it's going to get confusing. Good. A lot of fire required to kill you guys. For bombs. Sadly, still not up to the magic 15 for our coins. Oh, there you go. Why do you but why do you want Rock go? He's my baby. You can't have him. Right. Back we go. You are selling... Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Not great. Oh, actually, to be fair, I kind of forgot about the fact that you can bomb these guys. That one was just a pill. I should go ahead and bomb them to try and get different trades. There you go. Ah, oh, really? No. <laughs> you can't have Mr. Dolly either. Look at you. Bloody get nah! I've got like quite a few items you could take here that aren't great. But no. You want all my good shit. Can't have it. I will not acquiesce. Right. To the next floor. That was a good floor. Decent. And we should get damage. We didn't get damage. What heart did we pick up on that floor? Did we pick up a soul heart in the back? Isn't we got to look for our thingy, of course, now. For our uh, tinted skull. We did manage to keep our Locust Heart alive, though, which was nice. Blank Rune. Take us. Take us. He's so small. He's so teeny. Got you. We need to leave a trinket behind as well, remember this floor, so... Technically, you can do it next floor as well, but I'd rather do it this floor. PhD. Pretty decent. Didn't realize how many goddamn pills there was. Do you know what? If we can keep this heart alive for the Ascent, this, this, this fly heart, we're going to get a lot. A lot out of this, which I think we can do because we get three free hits a floor, so it's plausible. He is up, locally. Friends. What does this do? Creates a mega explosion in the current room. That would allow us to do boss rush, technically, so let's take that. Plus three fireballs. Plus three fireballs. 
Didn't realize we had the fires out right now. Get, go back to our normal tiers for a bit of range. Not that we need all this money, but there you go. Right. This way. Oh no! Wait, we we can't we can't use this star thing because we need our fool card. That's a shame. We also had a way to escape that would work, but we need our fool card. Shame. Okay, let's go do our boss. Oopsie Daisy. Right, should be a pretty quick kill on Mum's foot here. You got the flamethrower going. Of course, going to use a lot of the charges here, but we'll get them all back. Take that. For some reason, we've got a devil deal here. I guess I'll check it out. It's pretty darn good. Ooh, bleeding heart. It's got a slightly new sprite. Um, five percent chance to fire. Oh, is this, is this just a different item that I'm thinking of? Five percent chance to fire tears that inflict charm. Charmed enemies and now fire players tears in random directions. Charmed enemies, charm nearby enemies on death. Ooh, that sounds awesome. And because we got a heart container out of it, I'm pretty happy to take this as well. Pretty darn happy with that overall. Right. Um. I can, I can leave my trinket on the next floor. I've just got to remember to do that. I forgot on this floor. I could have gone to the item room, I guess, but. Another luck penny there. I'm liking the scaling look. Need the range here. Don't use the thingy. Could look for the shop here at some point. Holy shit, that was kind of close. Oh, you're still alive, I see. I was like, what the hell's going on in this room? Um, Lizzie's good. I'll take Lizzie. I think that's the, the friend in a box thing, isn't it? Yeah, abandoned box, nice. Little dumpy, okay, fantastic. And of souls, gimme gimme. Dry baby, wow. This is a room where I could take some serious damage. Let's be careful. We are all right. The kids are all right. Oh my god. Things are getting a bit hectic. Another Gigabomb. Another Gigabomb, surprisingly. I've been to the shop, actually. We're all good to go. Ow. Wait, that lost my heart. What? Where did my thingy heart go? I think that's a bug. I'm not going to give myself it back. I probably would normally, but I'm not going to. That's definitely a bug, because I didn't actually take any damage. But yeah, I still lost my Locust Heart, which is not how that should work. Now, I'm going to go find the item room here and put it in the item room, just in case. I'm, sca I'm scared it won't work in the boss room. As if I've been scammed this way. It's because I'm on a half heart, I think, rather than a full heart, and it bugged out. Ow. Hit those goddamn red bricks. That's actually a pretty good item there, so we'll drop this in here. We'll go and get that. And we shall scamoosh. 
But yeah, we could have had a lot of locusts by the end of this, and a bug tore them away from us, which is a bit depressing. We're going to miss out on, what, like, six? Six more locusts that we definitely would have got. It would have been quite a lot of extra DPS for us, due to what I, I would definitely say is a bug. Because if I don't, if I, if I didn't take damage, there's no way I should have lost the heart, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. There it is. Good, good. I think we just want to use normal tiers at the minute. Got to remember as well, we're not going to trigger tier effects with our uh, with our flamethrower. So for tier effects, it's actually better off that we shoot normally. We are going to get 0.5 damage for every floor that we don't uh, pick up health though, which is pretty good. Be pretty damn valuable here. means we could get quite a significant amount. Oh, it's 0.8 actually. Okay, so it's going to be a pretty good amount of damage actually. I'm not I'm not as salty anymore. I'm not quite as salty as I once was. I love the fact that charmed enemies can fire your tears. That's so cool. It's not super valuable for this run unfortunately just because of the boss that we're going to, but it's still really cool. Yeah, we're not going to use the flamethrower too much anymore. I think our tiers are actually more valuable right now. Get back here, chunkster. As if we got dumpy as well. Beautiful. Yeah, that's awesome. 0.8 damage a floor for all of these floors. Oh no, I took damage. What a shame. It's a lot easier to find where we're going as well with Spelunker's hat. There's not as much guesswork. I do have a Tinted Rock there, but I have a Giga Bomb. I'd rather save that for the Beast. Up we go once again. We are killing stuff at a rapid pace right now. It's a really goddamn good run. And the damage, she keepeth climbing. She keepeth climbing. Oh, you spawned a new one of yourself. No, thank you. It's kind of interesting, actually, that. Um, so normally with this curse that makes enemies, like, respawn, normally the respawn version of the enemy is really weak. But due to the way that the, their health works, they've actually still got a lot of HP because they don't actually... Their HP value is low. Their armor is high. So it still spawns them with low HP when they respawn. But unfortunately, they still have incredibly high armor, which means it still takes a while to kill them. Kind of interesting. Look how many goddamn locusts we've had by now. And not these kind of locusts. Don't think I'm going the right way here, but I'm going to keep going anyways and hope for the best. Oh no, it was. Nice. God damn, we get so much damage out of this. This is all, this this okay. I said that this Lent item was bad. I did not think about how good it would be in this situation. Now granted, I do have a method of not needing to uh not 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 being able to take damage very easily, but even then it gives you a full heal, so it wouldn't have been that bad either way. That's amazing. Turn you into poop. I don't like where you're standing, buddy. Give it up with that. And there you go. All the way up to 19 damage. And we get Consolation Prize as well. There's some extra range and oh my god. Pretty, pretty goddamn good Consolation Prize there. 
Right. Zealot Heart. And Bethany unlocked. I was hoping for the charm shot there. Would have been good. Oh well. Right. Do I use my Gigabomb on this this goober? I'm not sure. Ah, this is going down pretty quick. Also, he the TV is charmed too, which is actually kind of useful. It's firing tears, which I think is hurting itself. I'm not entirely sure on that. Gotta remember as well, like, most of the time we're dealing 50% plus damage to these fires that we're putting out every now and again. And the fires also destroy shots like other fires normally do. Good. Him not doing the spinning attack right off the bat is a win in my book. Oh my god. He's done it. He's died without doing the spinning attack even once. It's a magical moment. It's a magical moment. Can you believe it, people? Fortunately, our rock gut boy is not in an ideal spot, but it's not terrible. Okay, so he is definitely hurting himself with those. You can see by the amount of, like, ticks it's doing. This is working reasonably well. Whenever we charm the boss, it does some good stuff for us. Let's just check, shall we? I'll charm him. And there you go. Yeah, he's literally just hurting himself, look. Like, I'm not doing anything. Also, this is nice. He sat directly on top of Rotgut. Rotgut will move after this, though. I think he'll move? Oh, no, he doesn't. Nice, okay. That's actually useful. He's in a okay spot, then. That's going to go straight into Rotgut's mouth, isn't it? Yep. Good damage here. Second phase, careful of the, the fly balls. Which I'll probably. Ah, I was going to say get stuck, but no, they got 10 to poop. I also am happy with that. Good, good, good. Right, this guy, let's like rip some fire on him. It's not quite as enjoyable, is it? Seeing him get charmed and then destroy himself. Unfortunately, he's not charming all so easily. Dumpy has also managed to uh, escape the actual entire screen. Oh no, we got him back. He was just, just outside of the screen's bounds. Not far. God, these fires are so good. Another one down. There's a entity spawning my shots. That was weird. There was like a charmed enemy that was invisible there for a second. What would be ideal is if we can spawn a red poop where the beast normally sits, which is rare, but if you can get it to happen... Oh boy. I just kind of stood there and took that damage. I don't know what I was doing. Um... If you can get it to happen, lots of damage. Oh no, one of my three free hits. Weird the Holy Mantle gets taken first rather than the uh, Blood. Blood of the Abyss, whatever it's called. There you go. Give me my Dumpy back. Boom. Gigabombed him. Gotta love that. Not an insane amount of damage, but did about 10%. It's pretty good. Yeah, like I said, if we can manage to spawn a red poop somehow on him, it's game over. I 
Okay. He's doing a lot of damage to himself as well here with that charm thing. I really like that item. I've never seen that item before, and I really like it. Unfortunately, Dumpy is sucked into the void here. Really? It's kind of a cheap shot there, dude. Right also at the bottom of the screen. Give me my Dumpy back. There you go. Oh, I accidentally minimized the game. I'm sorry. Last phase now. Fire in the hole. Empty my whole cannon into him. Doing pretty good damage. Not quite going to kill him, though. That's okay, though. He is dead now. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Pretty fun run. Some really interesting items. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.